Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over stateful widgets. So we did the stateless widgets before. Now let's do the stateful widget. So if we remember a stateful widget, you are required, it requires for you to have a previous state or like a previous memory or else it depends upon other widgets in order to build it. Okay. In this example, this is going to be a very simple example. I'm going to use a stateful widget but make it stateless. All right. So the reason I'm doing that is just to, for learning. So you will just learn the syntax and the structure and we'll just go from there. Okay. So this is the root app still my app. I haven't changed this much. So we will return the material app and the home will be new scaffold. And I'm going to have a bottom navigation bar and it's going to be my great state. Okay, so it's right here, the bottom navigation bar. So this migrate state is going to be the stateful widget. But again, this is going to be stateless, just how I made it. All right. So stateful widgets have two characteristics behind it. So it has the um, stateful widget and it has the state widget. All right. So the stateful widget says, says this is just what we use as the structure of the widget itself and the state says what is the actual state that you need to start and that you need to actually change for the widget itself so here i'm going to say um here's I'm, I'm using dependency injection this particular implementation does absolutely nothing so there's i'm not doing anything with state of the union title this dot title i'm not doing anything with it but this is just an example of how um how you can do dependency injection and we might want to use that sometime in the future but for right now i'm not going to all right so the the big method that the um stateful widget has is going to be create state okay so it's going to be at overwrite again um and we're going to say state of the union because that's the name of the new class I'm creating and create state and I'm going to return the state of the union because that's what the type is, right? So that's simple, the stateful widget. All we're really doing is creating a situation and then we're going to go ahead and say, um, create the state. This is the widget and this is the dependency upon the, the requirement for the widget. So that's where the statefulness comes in. All right. So this is the same as before. This is the state part. Now we go to the state and there's two separate things. So where you have the state, now you have to create a new class. So it's always going to have the structure and the build notice it's here in the state, not in the, not up here in the state full part. That's just the way the syntax is. There's some benefits to, to doing something like that, but it just creates a little bit of flexibility for us in the future. And here I'm going to say string title. This is my first stateful widget and at override, same thing as we've done before, just to build and return a new text. So what it'll say is that state of the union will go ahead and return this widget by building it, which is going to be a text. Then it's going to send it up inside of here, and then it's going to create the state for the stateful widget, and then go ahead and render it. And what we see is it renders it right here. So if we start from the beginning, material app, then it's going to be a scaffold, so the structure of this particular UI. Then we're on the bottom navigation bar, we're going to call migrate state, and it's going to say, oh, create a state. So what state is this? Because I'm depending upon another class. And this particular class is going to say, this is my first stateful widget. Return this text. It goes up into here. It goes up into here, and then it prints it out. Okay, so this particular one, there is no state. So I don't need to know anything other than this was the previous state. I can't do anything with the widget, but that's the general syntax. Let's use this and start building a little bit more complicated and go step by step in terms of what is the nature of this stateful widget itself. Thanks.